everyone and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and a bunch of custom content and we are here having a very special moment because this is when baby Terry, little toddler tyke Terry, has just met his nanny Bridget for the very first time. So this is super exciting. We're going to have Bridget come over. She's This is the very first one of her charges that she's going to be responsible for. I'm still so excited to have a nanny because guess where Anita is right now you guys? Oh my goodness. Anita is so happy because if we come down and look at Anita, she's actually getting some sleep. She's completely exhausted. She's still feeling a little bit humiliated from having to fire the maid because they've hired a nanny instead. But Bridget is going to be really, really useful for this household. So she's coming up and the very first thing she sees when she looks over at baby Terry is the fact that his diaper is atrocious. He has a dirty diaper. He's stinky. The child probably needs like changed a bath, even though you can't bathe them in Sims 3, which is so weird to me. All right, we're going to change his little diaper because you're a stinky McStinkson. We're going to ignore all of the tutorials who are like, oh my, oh, look at this. Bridget just picked up Terry. She will always remember how incredibly soft Terry felt in her arms. And also the fact that maybe some of that softness may be very grossly. Ah, oh, can I not get a picture of this? Why? My little simming heart wants to get a picture. Oh yeah, that looks like, that looks like a memory I would always want to keep right there. Yep. Stinky, dirty baby diaper. Softness from dirty baby diapers. Yuck. But we'll go ahead and have Bridget take care of Terry. So he's going to feel a little bit better. We'll have him play up here. I feel like no one ever gets a chance to just play with Terry. So let's snuggle him so he can get to know us. And then let's go ahead and tickle him. And then maybe we'll just like sit him down we'll just talk to him we'll teach him to talk for a little while because that's that's an important thing to do hopefully we'll have mom and dad pop up and be able to like teach terry his very last word but that's kind of something a nanny does is like take care of the kids that way meanwhile roger's downstairs he took it upon himself to try to fix anita's computer because he's sure he can somehow figure this out even though he's not really very technically minded he's starting to get a few handiness skills actually to be completely honest just from fixing the toilet so many times in this house oh my goodness and let's see how the rest of the family is doing how are our puppies Rolly is still miserable because he has fleas and you guys pointed out he may not be getting the flea bath because Roger might not have a high enough relationship with him so we'll try to give him a flea bath in a little bit but right now I kind of think that he has like the most stubborn case of fleas ever to besiege our dogs before hey 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 don't bark at your dad don't bark at your dad just because you're cranky are you challenging your dad really that does not look like happy canine good time family having behavior right there sir all right and so somebody is learning a skill and professions and roger got out the wrench and hammer and repaired a computer yay also accept those gifts in a little bit fantastic oh my goodness so Rolly is just like in a cranky pants mood because he has all these fleas, so he's like chewing his dad out about it. Oh, and she came all the way down here to teach. Oh, that's adorable. She's like, let's learn how to play football. I bet Bridget like loves playing football. She looks like somebody who would enjoy like a good football game now and then. But all right, let's go take care of the dogs because we actually need to try to start adopting out Rolly and Pepper. And I wanna do that by having Roger increase his relationship with the alien. So I wanna have him be able to like invite over his alien friend and maybe she starts adopting all of our dogs. Cause I think that would be really cool if we could just adopt like almost all of the future aliens like to another planet they're gonna start or all of our future dogs to the aliens i meant not all of our future aliens that would be kind of cool if you could like take the aliens from sims 4 and breed them oh my goodness that would be so fun just think about how fun that would be to like have a little alien breeding thing going on in the household Ugh, but i think about animals all the time all right so we are going to come over and i think i'm going to go ahead um send a picture text can I come over and like take a picture of the dogs? Let's take a picture of this puppy because this puppy looks really cute. Do I need to be standing next to the puppy or can I just be over here? All right, can I take a picture of it? Oh, it's so cute. Ah, I'm gonna have to be standing next to the puppy, huh? Oh my gosh, look how tiny this is. He's like, here's a picture of my son. I guess that'll have to do. And we'll send her a little picture text of her his son even though I don't think that's what she wants to see right now. And then let's go ahead, I'm gonna have him come in here. And actually I thought about you guys and I realized if we have Pongo and Perdita and we work hard at raising up their skills, then some of their future children should inherit their skills. So that's what I should be working on. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna text her 
a picture text of the puppy. Don't stand on the puppy, that's fidget. I'm kind of keeping thinking we might keep Patch. All right, there we go. So let's get a picture of the puppy. All right, whoop, whoop, there we go, okay. Zoom in, little cutie patootie. The smartphone is the gateway for staying social and telling the world what you think. We'll learn about that trait later. So he's sending another picture text over to the alien lady. And let's just play with Rolly for a minute. I feel like it's been forever since we've just been able to like, let's see, let's get, let's feed it Rolly a little treat. And then let's go ahead and like give him a good brushing. Maybe if we brush him, those fleas will come out easier. Ooh, and now he's into social networking, cool. All right, Rolly, we're gonna take care of you. We'll play with him. Reinforcement, scold for, praise for, being neat and being playful. Is he already neat and playful? Let's check. He is not neat yet. Oh, we need to make him neat. Okay, reinforcement, reinforcement, praise for being neat. That's the most important thing. Praise, feed, treat, and praise for being neat. And then we'll go ahead and brush him. And then we will once again, after that, attempt to give a flea bath to him to get rid of those fleas but now that roger has the nanny here to help out with terry what i'm hoping is we can work on pongo and perdita's skills more because raising their skills means their future puppies will be born with more skills yes and really just gained the neat trait boom another point in our favor for when it is time to adopt him out that's going to be awesome all right meanwhile bridget how goes things with the babies pretty good Oh wow, you're already teaching Terry how to talk about phones. Terry's like so excited. He's like, someone's talking to me, yay! He looks really cute. We'll just let them keep going at that. Meanwhile, Meredith is sleeping. Anita is passed out from a rude guest. I wonder what kind of rude guest she had. Maybe it was the, the maid who was here. All right, can we bathe you yet, sir? Oh, Pepper also stinks. All the dogs stink. He's like surrounded. Oh my gosh, look, he's covered in water now. That's hilarious. Okay, Rolly, I need to give you a bath. Penny, Penny, come. Penny, Penny, Penny. Where is she? Penny, Pepper. What? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, it's Penny. It's Penny. She's been adopted out and she's visiting. You guys, Penny's visiting. It just hit me. She's come home to visit. No way, Penny. Hi, sweetie. Hi, she's come to visit her mom and dad. I was like, wait a second, why can't I right click on her and like select her? Penny's visiting the farm. I didn't know they would do that, that's so exciting. Okay, Roger. Oh my gosh, so many wet dogs, <laughs> he's gonna be disgusting. All right, can we can we please just like give Penny a little a little brush without everybody freaking out? All right, and then we'll give her a little feed treat. Oh, look, she's licking Roger's face. Penny, I'm so happy to have you visiting. Rolly, I wish I could give you your freaking flea bath. I think we're gonna have to have Rolly like come in. Oh, we got an achievement of some kind? Oh no, it's just talking to us. Okay, Rolly, lay down here and don't move. So we're, we're making Rolly stay in one place so I can finally get those fleas. All right, oh, and this fidget peeing outside. <gasps> we need to go praise him. All right, well, it's great to see you, Penny. Her last name is now Brewster, so she's been adopted by, by somebody else. That is just so cute. Fidget just peed outside, so we're gonna, we're gonna praise him for that. Praise for being playful, too. Fidget, are you already neat? What are your traits? He's already playful, and he's non-destructive, so we only need to praise him for being neat. I really like Fidget. Aw, then we're gonna do a little puppy aw. Rolly, you stay there. Good boy. No, Rolly, stay. Stay. Where is he trying to go? Who knows? Rolly. Rolly. Lay down. All right. There we go. And then we're going to come in here and give a flea bath. Jeez. I don't know why it's like the most impossible thing in the world to give a flea bath to this dog. All right. And meanwhile, Terry is just like, yay, I'm like learning how to talk. And he's getting pretty hungry. And so is Bridget. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pick Terry up. Let's tickle him for being so good. We'll attack with claw so he can be like, whoa! Cause little babies love that. Oh, I'm so happy. I know you're hungry, huh? Bridget, I can't tell you how happy I am that you're here. This is just gonna make life so much better. Look at her, look at her. I think she's pretty good with kids. But I think this may be the honeymoon stage where she's like, this is easy peasy. 
No, lemon squeezy, no problem. Sorry if my mouse feels a little bit weird, by the way. Still getting used to everything on the new setup. And yay, somebody in town just got a new job. We're training our pets up on their behavior, which is awesome. Woo, hang on, little guy. All right, serve food, mac and cheese. But we would need a food processor for that. I kind of think I want to get a food processor instead of this super expensive. Never mind. When you can drink a white chocolate light frosticino with strawberry sprinkles, I'm pretty darn sure we're just going to keep that machine instead. Maybe I'll move like this thing over here and we'll just add more more cabinets or more counter space over here to, to use. I think that's a good idea. In fact, I kind of want to do that right now. In fact, how do we have so much money? Question mark? I just realized we have like a ton of money. I didn't do that. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it was because she moved in. It's because Bridget moved in. Okay, I think she brought like at least, let's see, we're at 25,000 right now. And so Bridget must have moved in with not quite a little over 10, 12, 15. I think she would have moved in with like maybe 16,000 Sublonians worth of stuff. I just realized that. So Bridget, we're going to have to like grab some decor pieces that equivalent to in price. Why are these things so cheap? In Sims 2, if I go to this area and like scroll down, it's like the most expensive of all, all stuff. How do I like, I want you to filter the content by the price, <laughs> not by this. That's hilarious. Okay, so we have the Destiny of Kelp. For about 3,000. We're just going to have to keep buying things until it drops back down to 9,000. Because I just noticed how much money we had. And I'm like, no. Can I even stick these in our inventory? I hope I can stick these in your inventory. Bridget, do you want to have a, a fountain stuck in your inventory? I don't think I can stick this fountain in your inventory, Bridget. Okay, never mind. That's not going to work. Um, uh, but it will go in the... Let's see. What can I stick in our inventory to kind of make up for the fact that I, we just got all this money. Um, oh, here we go. There. That's more like it. That's more like it. So there. That actually did it perfectly. So she did bring 15,000 Simlonians. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the family inventory. And that is for Bridget and her future university funding. And we'll have to give her some money as time goes on too. And I forgot we had all these other things in here. I'm just going to put a little sleepy gnome out here. Oh, look at him. Look at you. You're so cute. You can stay in the bushes over there. All right, that's good. And then we've got some other plants and things that I haven't been using. So maybe I should put these out. Where can I put them? Like in the corners? Who knows? There's no space to put anything in this house right now. Okay, well, we'll work on that later. I just, I love plants. I really love plants. Like, look at this tiny little potted palm. Can it go anywhere? I know it would block stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I'll play with that later. All right. Well, Bridget, now we have the funding set. And actually, I kind of want to set it up. Uh, well, we'll work on the kitchen later. Okay, sorry. Have to make up my mind. All right, so Bridget's gonna feed the baby. Feed him some baby food. And go ahead and grab a bowl of food for yourself. And then we'll pop back over to Roger, who's hopefully finally ending the fleas. And then we have to bathe Pepper. Where's Perdita? Our pregnant Perdita. We're gonna have Perdita go ahead. Pee here. Pongo, do you wanna go search for some collectibles? He's just having fun with his kids. I love how... No, Pongo, you have fleas too. Why? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to have to work on, on cleaning him as well. We just have to bathe all of the dogs. So that's okay because this will hopefully help us balance everything out. And who knows when Perdita is going to have her puppies. But because we have now decided to go generational and everything... Rolly, are they gone? Tell me they're gone, Rolly. <gasps> they're gone! You guys, Rolly is flea free. That's so exciting. Now we have to like bathe Pongo because we have to eradicate these fleas like right now. So go here, Pongo. Roger, you can go ahead and mop up this puddle really quickly. And then Pongo's going to come inside. And then you're going to come over here and you are going to give a flea bath to Pongo dearly. I think that's so fun. Is Penny still here? Yeah, Penny's still visiting. Oh man, there's just water everywhere. Roger, why? Perdita, what are you doing in here? Oh, she wants to goof around. No, Perdita, now's not the time. Why don't you go sniff out a collectible, my dear? All right. And then we've got a pile up. We've got a pile up at the door. Oh, and baby Meredith is waking up. All right. So baby Meredith is awake. Let's put, let's have Bridget put the baby, put Terry down. 
And then can we pick up the baby? Like hold the baby before she starts crying and wakes up her mom? I hope so. There you go, Terry. All right, do you want to play with something? I'm going to hopefully let him just like pick what he wants to play with. And now can we get the baby without waking Anita? It's like that game. Oh no, I just saw the invisible friend. Where'd it go? It just vanished. It just walked off. Who knows where it went? Okay, and we have Meredith. Good. So let's go here with her. Oh boy. Come on, move quickly. Move quickly. Oh, now she just picked up Meredith. Yay. Oh, and there's a new baby girl born in town. Yay. Progression. Oh, and as I was saying, now that we have the age system turned on, there is going to be Anita ages up to an adult in 28 days. Oh, she wants to kiss her husband. That's adorable. And then um, Perdita and Pongo actually are going to be aging up like in 24 days or so. So we've still got a long time with these two. And hopefully that means that when they do turn into elders, by then they would have had a few more litters of puppies and we can choose like, okay, we're going to stick to like this litter. This is going to be the one from this litter that we keep. So we will be keeping one of their puppies in the future. And then we will also go and we will get a new Dalmatian. They'll get a new Dalmatian and continue the 101 Dalmatian challenge. And I really think if we could like give almost all our Dalmatians to aliens, that would be amazing. I'm sure they don't have enough Dalmatians. All right, so let's see. We've got the baby, and I think she just needs some attention. So let's snuggle her. Let's change her diaper just in case. Let's give her a bottle. There we go. All right, and now you're going to start seeing how hard life is right here. because Bridget, because where is Cherry going? Where is Cherry? He's trying to go out upstairs to play with his toys that are upstairs. Terry loves the outdoors, which means being in the out great outdoors will put him in a much better mood. Oh my gosh. So he's happy because he's outside crawling in the mud. What a little kid. You come over here and play over here, sir. Pretty is like, what are you doing? At least he's got like a bazillion dogs to watch over him. All right. We taking care of the baby? Yeah. Baby's being taken care of. I wish there was something more we could do with her. I think there's like baby bouncers and baby blankets and things that you can put down but I don't know if I have those items so I'll check that out later did we bathe him yet Pongo bad dog for crying out loud like Roger is about to pass out we've had just enough time to give you a flea bath so really having this many dogs no matter what ooh, and people are fighting in town is going to be tricky but I think we have the flea situation under control largely in part to having more people watching after the kids which is very helpful there we go so there's there's for meredith and now let's see she's off to fill up the dog food bowls well power on you woman you do that and terry is like enjoying playing on the porch i feel like i should enclose this in fact i i will enclose the porch with a little bit of fencing and we can put a little gate in here and then i'll feel fine about the babies coming out and playing but really they shouldn't be they shouldn't be out in the open like this this makes me nervous. My ancient nanny skills are tingling. Uh, oh, that's really cute fence, actually. Can I put that there? Maybe? Okay, like this, maybe. And then do you just put like a little gate? Is there like a stampede stomper gate? The Great Wall Edition gate. Ooh, fancy. Um, maybe I should have done barrier to entry, a simpler gate. But it looked really cool at the time. Barrier to entry. Oh, that's the turnstile. Um, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, there's just like a cute little farm country gate. That's adorable. Um, oh, the Mother Russia gate. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I made a pretty fence, but where's the gate to go through it? Where, where do I pick? Like this one? Maybe? That's a little too fancy. Oh, now that one's cute. That one's really cute. Oh, see, like little outdoorsy gate. Yeah, that one. Can I change the color of it? <gasps> I can! You guys, this is perfect. All right, so we're going to come over here. I'm going to grab the color, drop it on here, and boom. Man, I love the creative style wheel. I'm not used to it, like, still, because, like, Sims 3 is, even after all this time, still kind of a new game to me. And it's just amazing to be able to use that and be like, yay, now you match. Because in Sims 2 and 4, which I'm used to playing, that's not the way things are. Look at this. I feel so much better. The baby is safe, you guys. All right. So... 
Perdita is actually getting some sleep. I think I'm actually going to wake her up because we don't want her to be 100% fully rested. She wants to have a child, wants to potty train Terry. Oh, that reminds me. Look, Terry has to go potty. It's perfect timing. Anita, your mommy senses are tingling. And Perdita found something interesting. All right, we can do this. She's going to make the little bed. And we're going to come up here. And we're going to potty train Terry. Woo! Oh, pretty is that you? Yeah, I'm pretty just hanging out back here. What'd she find? Possibly a feather. A very colorful feather. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is going to be so much better. And Anita is like feeling good. That's probably the first true night of proper sleep that she has had since we moved here. So that's very exciting. And we missed the diaper time. He's like, nope. Nope, we're not going to potty train. I'm just going to poop my pants. Well, fudge knuckles. So that wasn't so awesome. We'll change his dirty diaper. Meanwhile, Bridget is running around. She's going to read something now. I think this is going to work out, you guys. I really do. All right, now the last test. Did we get... <gasps> and Pongo doesn't even have his fleas. Oh, yeah. You know what, you guys? I think this is going to work out just fine. Look at this happy puppy. Look at Rolly. He's just, he's just over here having a good old time. Literally rolling in all of the the pet toys now that is too cute look at this pile of pet toys and he's got like a little puppy sibling with him that is just that's adorable but all right you guys i will see you next time i think this is going great as you can see penny is marking her territory and teaching her sibling patch how to do so and yeah this is this is fantastic having a nanny it really is going to change everything now pongo and perdita will be able to be better taken care of and anita and roger can work on building up their five babies that they want in fact we might work on adding a baby to the family next episode and then we'll hopefully be able to go ahead and really just start meeting people in town letting the dogs be trained up better so that they can get more skills so that they can have smarter puppies maybe their retirement years when their elders will be able just to be spent playing with all their grand puppies and their great grand puppies and collecting collectibles so that they can leave behind like a statue legacy in the yard where we can put their little grave next to it when the day comes oh when the day comes for their little graves so this is going to be awesome and i am so excited oh i just feel like everything in the chaos of this family has changed now that we have a nanny here to help them out so thank you guys so much for that suggestion remember she'll be with us possibly for like i'm gonna say maybe one season two seasons we'll see how that goes and then we'll shift over to the next nanny who will also come from ideas and traits generated from you guys so i will see you all later Bye bye